Hey everyone, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, glad to have you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we can be friends. Welcome to my basement. <laughs> That's where we're actually going to be painting today. Because we're painting this big canvas. This is a 24 by 36. We're using these colors plus titanium white. So we got dioxazine purple, turquoise blue, primary blue, light olive green, light green permanent, and cadmium red deep hue. Let me pop those out of the way. A, I gotta remember to talk when I'm close to the camera because I don't have any type of microphone today. So it was a lot of work getting this set up. So hopefully the painting will go good. So this is my practice attempt of a swipe, just different colors and swiping from the top down because I'm doing another painting, excuse me, for someone who's requested it. So let's see how this goes. I've already painted the sides white and I'm going to have lots of white. I've got 1200 grams of paint. So we're going to start with the purple. I'm going to kind of blob it. You know, we'll try and get this done as quick as possible, but not too quick. Hopefully I have enough paint. I, as I said, I have 1200 grams. I have 150 grams of each color. So with the liquid X, I mix this two parts pouring medium to one part liquid X. So it was 50 grams of color, 100 grams of pouring medium. My pouring medium is Elmer's glue wall mixed with water. So for every 100 grams of pouring mi mixture, I have 60 grams of Elmer glue wall and 40 grams of water. It's just straight water from my tap. I know some artists like to use distilled water. I don't, tap water seems to work pretty good, so I'll stick with that. I don't have to go and lug in the big things of water. Maybe one day I'll give it a go and see. There is one done. Now, if you've been watching me, you know I love purples and blues and reds. So I went, let's put them all together along with white. I was originally going to do the ziggy zaggy dealy thing, but then decided against it. I seem to get the best luck when I plop it down like that, like this, not like that, like this. It's like that song, this or that. Sorry, I'm just trying to get all the paint because if my calculations are wrong, even though it was calling for just over a thousand grams, uh, yeah, a thousand grams and I bumped it up because I went, uh, that doesn't seem right for such a big canvas. Uh, for each cup of color, I have added my treadmill silicone oil. I've added one drop per 50 grams. Let's go with the green. The green, I'm going to do this. Wee! <laughs> We'll switch some of it up. How does that sound? You have to let me know what you think of the view. If the angle view or the top view is the best. If you prefer the angle view that you're on right now, then maybe I'll continue painting in my basement. I don't have a bathroom down here, so that part's kind of a pain in the butt. And I don't think my husband's going to let me convert the kitchen to my paint mixing studio you know like the pantry would be perfect to hold all of my paint but I think he would say no and he gets a say in it because <laughs> where would I put the food at that point all right trying to keep clean so I'm stacking off to the side not trying to get paint I have this whole table covered in 
puppy piddle pads. I'll put some blue there. You can have some. You can have some. I want to try and get colors within colors. You know, I like my cells. I think that the blue on the blue and the blue on the purple might give us some very nice colors. And if it turns out I don't have enough paint, I'll just pause you and go make some more. I hope I don't have to. I know I always worry about it. And then it seems that it's not an issue. But you gotta worry about something when you're painting, whether it's your consistency or your kind of you pick the colors, or maybe it's just me. Maybe you guys are so awesome that it's just smooth sailing for you. If it is, let me know. And if you worry about something, if there's something that always kind of stresses you, whether it's making sure everything's level or what, I'm hoping my stuff's level. This table is a new table. I didn't have a table that was wide enough for this uh, canvas. So my wonderful husband got this for me. Now remember, I am putting white down too. I've got about 300 grams of white. I wanted a lot of background space on this. color to kind of start with the white. Hopefully my basement is not too too cold. It's a little chillier than the rest of my house. It's an unfinished basement but we are in some warm days right now so I'm hoping will be good. We gotta get all this paint, because what if I didn't make enough? As I said, that's my thing. It's what I always worry about. Okay, I think before I add the red, I'm gonna add some of the white. So this is a bigger cup of white. Let's see how we are looking filling everything up. That was just a little tiny one. I don't know why I did that. And the white is Amsterdam. But yeah, lots of up and down, up and down. A little bit in there. I'm okay if it ends up the white here at the bottom, I think. Like, I'm looking at all this paint going. I'm running out of cups. I got red and a smaller cup of white left. Okay, you guys got to keep your fingers crossed for me. Or take bets. Do I have enough paint? I've got about 75 grams of white and 150 grams of the red. So 225 grams. Is that going to be enough? Now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have put the red down first because <laughs> it tends to take over. But this is such a pretty red. I had to have it. I think I say that with every color. Just had to have it. That's what I tell my husband for sure. Yeah, 
in blobs, but a little bit of no rhyme, no reason. I know I'm probably going to get a bit of pink. That's okay. Isn't the whole point of fluid art is to experiment and see what you get? At least that's what I think it is. Yeah, I'm going for every last drop. I have to. So all I've got left is that last thing of white. Fill in there. Fill in there. Fill in there. Fill in there. Fill in there a bit. Where else? Like I know I gotta stretch this out the rest there. So we'll start tilting here in a second. Yeah, as I said, I painted the sides white already. That didn't take much paint and I know it's going to get covered. Just, you know me and trying to get my sides. I'm not always the best at it. What do you think of these colors so far? I was debating on using the flow troll with this, but I've only used the flow troll a couple times, so I didn't want to use such a big canvas on uh, something I've never. <laughs> <laughs> tried before. So, if you know what I mean. Paint is moving pretty good. Get everything kissed together. That white is really going. Trying to fill up that section there. Gonna wet it down. So I don't want to lose anything over the edge just yet. There. Just coming towards me. I'll run in a different. different speeds on me. Still running pretty fast, so I know I have too much paint on here. Trying to get over there. Perfect. While we're still in that area, I will check after to make sure you're still kind of in frame. You should be. I tried to keep it as big as possible. Definitely slowing down in its speed. Maybe I should have added an extra 200. So 400 altogether extra. Once. I want a lot of white at the top. Is that kissed? It's kissed. Okay, now one part left. And then hopefully I've got enough paint off of it. Gotta lift it up a bit higher. Come on, go pink, go. So I got lots here, so I'm gonna try and pull it down to here. So 
So I might have to come in behind the camera. And the crinkly you might hear, I just have a drop cloth on. I'm gonna go around the other way. On the floor. And that way, hopefully, I don't get paint all over my concrete floor down here. I'm gonna try not to knock you guys. So hard to see. This is such a big canvas. It's going, it's going. There we go. It's almost there, you guys. Girls, ladies and gents. Sorry, I shouldn't be seeing you guys. You're not all guys. Okay. There. It's looking pretty cool already. <laughs> oh boy, that was hard work. I got a few bubbles in there. I've let my paint sit for a good two hours. Okay. Grab my swipe color. There she is. I'm gonna do this from the back as well. Best I can and not get paint everywhere. <laughs> or I have some explaining to do to my husband. Actually, before I do that, let me just try and get the paint kind of more to the middle again. Even the Though I think I got it stretched out enough. We should be good. Yeah, it's barely moving. Okay, good. I'm gonna go for it. Try not to leave more marks on the canvas. Or it won't look pretty. That's okay, that little blob there. I'm gonna tilt this backwards as well. I might have to mix up some more swipe paint. I don't really want to. Mixed up 60 grams of it. out a bit. Cover up where my dirty hands touched. Oops. I'll probably fix the edges after. I was trying to do it right there. I'm just causing nothing but issues. I just don't want to see any bare canvas. Right? white color is quite thin. Now this video will be a little longer than my normal videos, but hopefully this is going to look fantastic. I'm getting a little bit of that green in there. Oops. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. So... My swipe piece, last time I picked up some 16 by 20 value pack canvases to practice on from Michaels. This, she was on the front of it and I thought, perfect. 
also, I've got a whole bunch of, let me get rid of my dirty cloths. I'm somewhat organized here, I promise. I'm gonna get rid of my cups. Even though this table is six feet long, I seem not to have enough, enough room sometimes. Got some paper towels ready to wipe this. Okay. So one end of this is really nice. The other one, not so nice. So we're going with the nice end. I'm gonna let it go over the edge a little bit because I always have troubles with that. Get it in the touch. There we go. All right, good contact. Fix that edge a little bit, but we will do that after. Just wipe it off my plasticky doohickey thing. So I'm going to use the other side of it. And I want to be able to see what I'm doing. Oh, the cleanup on this is going to be crazy. Oh, we got some cells happening. I did need to do an extra swipe of white swirly, but completely forgot. <sighs> okay. Make sure I'm overlapped. I am. Everything touch. Okay, now we're gonna go. This one's not going as well. Good thing I got a tarp down. That was my husband's idea. Thank, thanks, husband. I've already spelt on it, and I got a little bit of white paint on the table that you bought me. Sorry. Not on purpose. It was an accident. I was painting the edges. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I just got that little edge there. Got my trusty one there. Do I do it? No, I'm not going to do it. Okay, this looks really nice as is, but we're not gonna leave it as is, right? Okay, let's give this a second. We'll wait. So what have you been doing today? I've been mixing paint, setting up pu puppy piddle pads, up and down my stairs. My watch thought I was working out. I was going up because I kept forgetting stuff. It was crazy. Absolutely crazy. My cats kept trying to break into the basement because <laughs> they want to know what I'm doing down here. But could you imagine if the cats got down here? Oh, that would be bad. Very bad. Okay, we need some more torching. We have thought about it and everyone's come to the same conclusion that we need some more torching, right? Okay, so we'll give these ones a second. Did you see them pop up there? They might see the little tiny ones, but you never know. They might explode. So I've got a small section here, like a, a wave of them there, some there, little ones showing up, but the little ones can grow into big ones. Got those couple little green ones floating in the white. Another little patch there. Some of these big ones are really pretty. I think I need to come through here again. Not sure. 
I might, I just might have to give this a few minutes. So I'll probably have to pause you. And even though in real life, I'm not pausing you, I'll just edit the video. <laughs> Cause you're all the way up. There's like a little stool I have to go up on and you're on a big ring light. And I'm sorry about the reflections, but I'm in a basement. I've got two windows, the side of our house. There's a fence there. It's winter. It's dark down here. I've got three big ring lights on here. So I'm doing the best that I got. Okay, those aren't getting any bigger. So we're going again. Okay, that was a long, long session. We got some nice round ones that are popping through. Really liking that one. Wish I could get a bit more down there. And even down here needs a bit more. There's some real tiny ones popping up. That one's looking quite neat. Same with that one. Looks like a brain, a head scan. Don't know if you can see it from way up there. How long has this video been? Thirty-one minutes. Oh my. We got going on here yeah these little ones up there ah, wish I could get more I got a pink one those ones are growing nice some nice scattered ones I think we got to give it one more uh, torch you guys Everyone voted and we're torching again, right? Right. Okay, now we're getting a lot more single cells popping up. Just had to threaten it with the torch. Now we got some more there. I'm trying to stand back to see if it's enough for me. What do you think? We've got enough going on. There, a little sprinkle at the top, that one. Got a bit. Excuse me, a bit more coming out here. I did get some more in here. Those are gonna kind of keep growing. We know that. 
this one, I might have to bring you down and show you that one. It looks like a nucleus cell. That one is cool. You know, some more red ones popped up there. Oh, it's so tough. I got two little white cells that popped in through that area. Oh, I'm not sure. Let's uh, fix the edges while we think about this. It's such a mess. I must say, this has actually been very fun to do this. Like, on the fly, I had to kind of think what to do. What was going to work. I'm just fixing up some of the edges here, make them look the same. Probably let those cells grow. Ooh, some more showed up in there. Get the red off there. Oh, I got a little cell on the edge. Yeah, for the most part, the edges don't look the best. They never seem to do that though, do they? I know I can paint these after. Try and get some stripes or something interesting on there. Even though I painted them white, I probably should have painted the black or something. Or like the red. How are we looking? That one's a little wonky, but we're gonna leave it. Ooh, we got some pink cells in there. Okay, I think. Oh, what do I think? Gonna stand far back. I think this actually is done. Lots of areas to kind of rest my eye. Got the white at the top, which I wanted. Little bit of color poking through. Then some non-white areas. Yeah, I'm really liking this. So what I'm gonna do, cause I wanna show you that little nucleus cell. I'm gonna pause you, then bring you down and just give you a better view from this side. And hopefully you like it too. Okay, I didn't forget about you. So here it is from my view. Sorry for the light, uh, ring light glaring. I've moved them back as much as possible. See, they're kind of at the top. So I just wanted to show you a bit more close up and that little uh, cell nucleus one. There it is right there. Look what that one did. He's just super cute, or she. So there's the top. See, I was able to get uh, quite a bit more cell happening, cellage happening there. Don't mind my mess on the table. I think we got a good variety of cells. So we got like those ones that are all bunched up. Same with right there. And then we got some more that are a bit more separated, kind of doing their own thing. And then we got some negative spaces. So your eyes not going too, too crazy. Now I just need to figure out how I'm going to get a photo of this. But either way, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Until next time.